In this lesson, we are going to look at a couple of ways to multiply really large numbers. One method is going to be looking at the vertical method that we've already learned in multiplication, where we stack our two numbers on top of one another. And then we're also going to look at using the distributive property in some very large numbers. So let's begin by looking at multiplying large numbers using the vertical method. So I have a problem here behind me, 1,326, and I want to multiply that by 125. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Let's begin by stacking these numbers vertically. So I'm going to start with my 1,000. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of room for my, my um, regrouping and carrying. So I'm going to start with the 1,326 on top. Now, before I even write my 125 underneath, I always want to remember to be really careful to line up each digit in its ones place, tens place, hundreds place columns. So in the 1,326, I've got a six in the ones place, a two in the tens place, and a three in the hundreds place. So when I put my 125, I want these neatly lined up. So my five here from the 125 is gonna go right underneath the six. The two in the tens place is gonna go right underneath the two in the tens place of my other number. And the one in the hundreds place is gonna go directly underneath the three in the hundreds place above. So then I want to make sure I've got my symbol there to make sure that I am doing multiplication. So I have my X here and I'm all set up and I can get to work. So I'm going to begin by multiplying the 1,326 times the number that's in the ones place of my number underneath. So the five. So I'm going to start out by multiplying each of these numbers by five, and I want to be really careful now when I have an answer to one of my multiplication problems that's greater than nine, so it's a two-digit number, I'm going to write the number that's in the ones place of the answer down below, and I'm going to regroup or carry the digit that's in the tens place of the answer to the next highest place value column. Okay, so watch as I do this. Let's begin with the five in the ones place. So I start out here by doing five times six. So my answer to five times six, I'm sure that you're working on, multi on memorizing all of your multiplication tables. And so we know that the answer to five times six is 30. And so I've got a three and a zero. Now the zero that's in the ones place is going to go here, and the three that's in the tens place of my answer, I'm going to regroup or carry over to the next column, the next position here. So I've placed my three here, and I don't want to forget about it. When I multiply my next number, I have to add three to the answer. So now I move over, and I multiply my five now times the two here in the next position. So five times two is 10, add three. So my answer is 13. And I'm gonna put the three of the 13 here in the tens place column, and I'm going, going to carry or regroup the one of the 13 into the next highest place value column. So then I keep on going with my work. Don't forget, I'm still working with the five here and I'm multiplying one by one as I go. So I did the five times six already, I did the five times two already, and now I'm at five times three is 15, add one is 16. So now I've got the answer of 16, I'm going to put the six, which is in the ones place of my answer here, and I'm going to put the one of the 16 
in the next column over, regrouping or carrying that one of the 16. So I've placed that here. And now my last calculation, as I'm working with the five in my ones place, is I need to calculate five times one, clear over here in the thousands place, which is five, add one is six, and I'm simply gonna place my answer of six right here in the thousands place of the first row of my answers. So this first row represents the multiplication that I've done with the ones place of my bottom number. And now we will repeat this process with each digit in the bottom number working from right to left, no matter how many numbers you have in your uh, bottom number. We can keep doing this. In this case, we've got a three digit number, so we're gonna do this, we're gonna repeat this two more times. But for each higher place value, so as I go here to the higher place values to multiply, I need to add a zero to the end of the product before I even start working. We add a zero because we are multiplying by a digit now in the tens place. So in this case, I'm gonna add this one zero here, holding my position here in the ones place. And now I'm over here working with this two. I'm really multiplying everything by 20 because this two in the tens place of the 125 actually represents 20. And so by putting this zero here, I'm now starting over here and working in the tens place. It's very important that you remember always to place these zeros. And so in this case, we're gonna put one zero, but be careful when we get over here to work with the one in the hundreds place, we're gonna put two zeros there. So watch as I do that. Let's get to work then on multiplying this two times six, times two, times three, and times one for our next row of product. I'm going to erase my little carry, my little um, regroup carry numbers because they're going to be different for this next set of multiplication that I'm gonna be doing with my two. So let's get to work now on multiplying everything on the top number by the two here in the tens place. So I've placed my zero and now I can get to work. Two times six equals 12. So I'm gonna put the two of my answer 12 here and I'm in the tens place and I'm going to put the one of my answer 12 here in the next higher, in the next highest place value column. So now I go here and I'm going to multiply 2 times 2. I'm just working my way from right to left. So 2 times 2 is 4, add 1 is 5. I don't have to regroup or carry anything in this case. So I simply am going to put my 5 answer right here and move over to the next position. So now I want to do 2 times 3. And again, 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 is less than 10, so I have just a one-digit a one answer and I don't have to do any regrouping or carrying. So I simply do 2 times 3 equals 6 and I place the answer 6 right here in the thousands place column. And I have one more calculation to do with my 2 and that is that I need to do 2 times 1 now. 2 times 1 is 2, and I place my 2 right here in now the 10 thousands place column. So I've done each of my 2 times 6, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, and 2 times 1. And now I'm going to move on to the, the to, I'm going to move on to multiplying using the digit that's in now the hundreds place of my bottom number. So I'm done here, finished with that, and I've moved on to this one. Now, since I'm in the hundreds place, I wanna make sure and put a zero in the ones place of the product. I wanna make sure and put a zero in the tens place of the product, because I'm working now in the hundreds. 
So now I simply need to, again, I'm going to erase my little notes up here, my little, uh, my little carries and regroups because they're going to be different for each number that you multiply by. Don't want to mix any of those up. It's very important that we keep really, really neatly organized while we're working on these problems. So now I've got 1 times 6 equals 6. This is going to be an easy one. I get to multiply everything by 1. So 1 times 6 equals 6, and I place my 6 here in this next column. 1 times 2 equals 2, and I place my 2 here. 1 times 3 equals 3, and I carefully go over to my next column to put the 3. And 1 times 1 equals 1, and I carefully go over here and make a new column in the hundred thousands place. And now I'm finished. This is, I'm finished with the multiplication. I still need to add these three products together. So I'm not totally done with the problem, but I'm finished with all the calculating of the multiplications. So I've got on my first row is the product of multiplying 1,326 1, by the number in my ones place, the five. In my second row, I have the product of multiplying the 1,326 by 20, or by 2, which is the number in my tens place. And in the third row here, I have the product of multiplying 1,326 times 100, or the 1 in my ones place. And the next step, the last step in doing this, is I'm going to now add together these three products. So now I have a big addition problem. So I draw my line here underneath, and I want to put a nice big plus sign to remind myself here that I'm going to be adding these three very large numbers together. So again, we're going to be doing some regrouping and carrying in our additions, so we've got to keep really good track of what we're doing here. Let's begin over here in the rightmost position in the ones column. So this is a pretty easy math problem, 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0. So I can put my 0 here in the ones place. Now I move over to the tens place and I work on this and I do 3 plus 2. Oh. Still pretty easy. 3 plus 2 equals 5, plus 0, add nothing. So 3 plus 2 equals 5, and I put my 5 here. And then over here I have a little bit more work to do. 6 plus 5 equals 11, add 6 equals 17. Now with the 17, I'm going to put the 7 part of the 17 answer here underneath, and I'm going to regroup or carry the 1 from the 17 into the next highest place value column. So I'm going to put a 1 up here. I want to remember that when I add the 6 plus 6 plus 2, I also need to add a 1. So 6 plus 6 is 12, add 2 is 14, add 1 more is 15. So again, I'm going to regroup and carry here. I'm going to put the 15 or the 5 of the 15 here. I always put the, the part that's in the ones place below. And then I carry the part that's in the tens place of my answer to the next highest place value column. So I'm going to put a 1 here in the next column. And I'm going to move on to add my 3 plus 2 equals 5. Add 1 more equals 6, so I place my 6 here, and I don't have to regroup or carry. And now I just have nothing here plus 1, so I've got a 1 for my answer. So I can come over here to the three, three digits to the right of the comma, put my comma here, and I can see with all this work we've done with the multiplying and adding uh, that 1,326 times 125 equals 165,750.